All right, so I'm gonna just actually do this. Uh, I'm gonna do the classic funnel builder here, and I'm gonna say host a webinar, live webinar. I'm just gonna call it multi date or something like that, right? Just a test here, and this is just gonna create a uh, regular live webinar with a webinar registration page. Now I'm. Um, it doesn't really matter which template I select here because I'm gonna basically just delete everything on the page and then what I'm gonna do is open this up in the editor here and I'm just gonna delete everything on the page so I'm just gonna delete all these sections And what I'm gonna do is actually design this uh, to look like a pop-up. So let's add a new section here. Let's just make it a small section. And I want to have this, let's see, I do, I can even do extra small if I wanted to. Uh, I do wanna have some top margin there just to kind of float it down. And uh, let's make, well, the background color's fine white we can make the uh let's do some round ish corners there and let's do a shadow like that and a border maybe i don't know i don't have to do a border necessarily all right so we got that now i need to add a row and i'm just going to do a basic form here um so let's do a headline and let's just say register below four and then we could do the date so let's just say we're doing you know April 31st that's not a real date I know that um, now I'm gonna add my my form field so I just need a name field and a email address field so I'll put this on here and We'll leave this one as the email address field. I need to set that to email address. And this one is going to be the name. So we'll set this to full name. Uh, actually, it's, it's you know what? It's actually better to do a separate name fields for the webinar uh, registrations just because uh, it requires both. And so if somebody doesn't uh, put in both their first and last name, um, it uh, causes an issue. So we would also want to make these required. And, oh, I got to change this one to last name as well. So let's change that. There we go. And make this one required. And I actually want to bring this up a little bit here. Let's, like that. And let's add a button. And we'll set this to submit. And I think we're good there. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna change this text. Click to, you know, or you know, whatever. You can have this say whatever you want. All right, there we go. And uh, you know, we can even add a little icon on there. Actually, I want it after and do a little arrow, something like that, whatever. So this is just a basic uh, form. It's going to kind of look like a pop-up. Now, the other thing we want to do is change the background color on this page. And so I'm going to make it uh, dark, but I'm also going to make it transparent uh, so that you, so it looks like a, a pop-up with an overlay. So we'll try that at about 40%. Sometimes Let's see. Let's... There we go. Sometimes it doesn't stick on the background. Um, okay, I'm going to save this. And uh, you can edit all that other stuff. Now, coming back here, now that I've saved that, um, what I actually want to do is clone this funnel step. And you would clone this for basically as many uh, dates as you need. 
and um, and then you're gonna have a confirmation for each step as well so we'll just pick the standard confirmation template here and and then I'll clone this so let's just say I want them to pick between two dates um, I'm just gonna have one registration one confirmation but if I have three dates I would have three registrations and three confirmations and you're gonna keep them in so register registration confirmation registration confirmation that way they go to uh, the you know their respective confirmation page and then in you know on each registration uh, you would do your integration with zoom or go to webinar whatever you're using for that respective date and time uh, now here's here's the trick uh, to making this work um, we're gonna have Let's just call it a, a webinar selection page. And uh, this is actually going to be the first step in our funnel. And uh, I'm going to move this up here to the top. And um, I can use I can use a webinar registration page for this. I can use an opt-in page. It doesn't really matter what template I use for this one. Um, you know what, though? I'm going to use... Uh, let's see if there's a good one here I can use. Uh, not really one that's specific, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this one here. And I'm going to open this one up in the editor. All right, I can actually close out that other tab. All right, so, um, you know, you can change this to reflect the dates. Now, you're going to get rid of this form on this page. You're not going to actually have a form here. This video is going a lot longer than I anticipated, but uh, that's all right. Um, so I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to add a button. And let's let's say uh, I, I don't want to set this to anything, but I oh I did want the uh, wanted to change this top margin here, and um, I'm just going to add a little divider. Let's see. Divider. And reduce that margin a little bit. So I have my one uh, date for, you know, April 31st. Like that. And then uh, this one, you know, we could say... I mean, believe it is June twentieth or twenty eighth here. Whatever. Either way, right? Uh, I'm going to duplicate this button here. I'm going to say, click to sign up for April thirty first, and then let's duplicate that. And I'm going to change this to June twenty eighth. Now we've got this page here. We've got the buttons. Uh, if you have three, you could do them like across, like a three, you know, do a three column row and have, you know, separated that way with two, you could do it like this either way. Um, and, uh, now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually just save this page and, uh, I have to go to each registration page now and I'm going to go to publishing and I'm going to click get click pop code. I'm just going to copy this whole thing, and I'm going to go back to this page here. I need to go to the tracking code settings and footer, and I'm going to add this um, to the tracking, but I'm actually just going to um, I'm going to delete this first part. So I'm only going to keep the script part here, and this, this link here I'm going to get rid of, but first I actually need to copy this URL. I need this URL. So I'm going to copy that. And then let's go to the end of this here. And I'm going to delete that first part. So it's just this script. Uh, and that's going to stay on the page. And then I'm going to go to this button, set the action, and I'm going to set the link uh, to that uh, URL and then I'll go to the other one go to webinar registration click publishing get click pop code 
Now all I need here is this URL, but it's only gonna, it doesn't let me uh, select just the URL. It automatically highlights the whole thing, so I'm just gonna have to copy the whole thing, and uh, and then you can edit that in the text editor. I'm just gonna use this as my editor here. Um, I'm not gonna leave any of this in here. I just need the URL. So we'll get there. So I just need this part. I'm gonna copy that, delete all that. And then go here to this button, set the link like that. So now this button is set to trigger the click pop uh, for the other webinar. This one's set for the other webinar. So let's go ahead and um, actually, I need to change the date just so we can see the difference on the page. Um, I'm going to edit this page really fast. <clears throat> and so here we go. So this one's for June. 28th, 2018. Let's save that. And uh, let's save this page. And I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is actually, just to make sure the cache is cleared, I like to change the domain. And I'm going to do it on this page as well. I just add a little number there. Now if you're using the um, emails inside ClickFunnels um, to send out reminders for the emails, um, you could also set the webinar time here and that's going to affect uh, any emails that you set up on this automations tab here. Um, you can set up emails relative to uh, the webinar start time. Now if you're using Zoom, um, they'll get reminder emails from Zoom with a link so you can just do that. So um, I'm just going to do this one really fast here, and let's go ahead and preview this in an incognito window to test it out. And if I set this up correctly and everything's good, we should see there's my pop-up for April 31st. And so I'd have my Zoom integration. This is actually a click pop. Uh, it would have my Zoom integration for that specific webinar. Or if I click June 28th, it'll show me June 28th, and I'll have my Zoom integration for this specific webinar. So that's how you can uh, integrate multiple webinar times into a single page. Hope that helps. Uh, I know this video went a little long and uh, coming up on 13 minutes here, but uh, hopefully this is a good resource for you. I'll also include a share link uh, for this funnel um, in case you just wanna copy that into your own account.